Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Don't make assumptions. Ask to learn questions. This is a good card, man. It is always better to ask questions than to make an assumption. Have the courage to ask questions unto you as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to the question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 699, NASDAQ's up 127, S&P's up 74, gold contract down $32, trading 1893 an ounce. You get silver down 46 cents, 24 dollars, 22 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off 96 cents. $91.85 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down six ticks, trading 126.08. The 30-year off six at 152.08 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 499 ticks, trading 96.638. Euro is at 112. Yen is at 115.58. And the British pound is at 134 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is we've been through this before. What we're going to have out here is this, folks, okay? The bottom line is that you got another high-volume low from yesterday. That's 410, okay? So we're going to be down there. That in itself, guess what? Bottom line, you get it bounce. Volume's contracted again. Now, when you do this bounce, this is what's really cool, folks, okay? This is what's really cool about consolidations, because you get to feel and get to see the amount of energy on the way up or on the way down. I want to show you something here because uh, when we came, so the, la the last low on January 24th, okay, you get down to 4 420. You came off of that low and we came off of that low with 167 million shares. Well, guess what, folks? We're coming off of this low with 89 million. So when you do price and volume, that's really important that you're comparing how are you coming off of it. The reason being is that you're always looking for where is the buy point. And the buy point is, of course, when the buyers and sellers say, okay, this is where I think it is. And in this particular case, you can see that if we're going up the first time on the bounce with $167 million, and we're going up this time, we have 89, so let's say we do 100, you can see that it gets even weaker. That's the bottom line. So, we're up $7.5, you're at 435, you know, we'll see how this can handle the 448. That's your next swing point. Um, now, the way this market is operated is that the last bounce, we didn't, well, the first bounce, you got up to uh, 458. Then you, then you tested, uh, you almost got to 458, hit 457. So I suspect what this time is we're going to try to get up into, you know, this uh, 443 area. And the swing high is 448. So we'll see what kind of action we get there. What you want to do is you want to line this up, okay, with the calendar, meaning because of window dressing. We're in window dressing right now. you got to remember we got February is the shot month. Monday is the first. So by like next Wednesday, you want to see where this baby's shaking out. We look at the NDX 100, and it's going to be the same setup inside the NDX. What we have with the NDX is this. The NDX, last time that we hit the low on the 24th, bottom line, we came off that low when it came off the low with 146 million shares. You come off that low with 124 million shares. Guess what? We're doing 63 million. This is like weak beyond belief, man. And... I suspect, you know, as we were talking about yesterday, if we bring this back, what you're going to see is that the NDX 100 folks got to the highs of the high volume low. Put this here. Okay, wait, because this is pretty cool how this is set up. That being said, I expect what you're going to see here is that after this bounce, we're going to go to the lows of that number, which is 297. So this time we made it to 318. Next time, 297 is going to be 
uh, on game. The all, all, all the way down to this other space here of uh, 260. So there's going to be some action out here big time. Gold. Oh, now, this one's really cool, man. Okay, so gold contract goes higher yesterday, has volume behind the move. We knew, we knew we had an ABC structure up, okay? The ABC structure up was 101 A to B equals C to D, which gave us a price projection of 1946. We go to 1976, and that's what gold does all the, way, all the time, folks, by the way. Um, and that's just about a 1 to 1.382, okay? Gold... Gold equities, silver equities, silver and gold love to do a 1 to 1.382 to 50 on the way up and on the way down. <laughs> OK, so what happens when we get a high volume high like this? This is what normally happens, folks. OK, and this is where this gets really cool. I suspect what we're going to see is this. You're going to see gold go lower first off. OK. And as it goes lower, what you'll get is this. Normally when this happens is that you get fast price destruction without volume. And that is where you want to be all over this thing because what ends up happening is this. Let me put the GDX up here. Is that, okay, so the GDX, well, that already rejected lower price. But I suspect the GDX is going to get down to this like 32 area. We got to 33, 46 today. We'll see, if, that, but that's what I expect it's going to do. So as you get down there, the bottom line is that what's really cool about how gold trades is that you have a high volume high, man, and all the equities and, and high volume highs love to get tested, and they love to get tested very quickly when they give it up in price, meaning that you have a high volume high, you gave it up in price, you came back, most of the time you're talking about three, four, five days, you're going to be right back topside. So... If you want to be in that market, it's something really to watch real closely. Notes and bonds. So the note and bond market, that still wants lower price, higher yield. And I can tell you, folks, um, the way that the note and bond market is trading, okay, is that because it couldn't explode topside the last couple of days, this thing wants to go lower. Um, you know, that being said, I expect what you're going to see is that that you know, they were talking in March, a half a point. That's off the table, man. The whole Crimea, I mean, uh, Ukraine deal, um, that changes things very, very quickly. Uh, there's a, yeah, there's a new world out here for sure. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.